Amid the media speculations that the development of Russia's newest Su-75 single-engine fighter jet will depend on foreign customers for funding, the Russian Minister of Industry and Trade has said that Russia will finance the development of the Su-75 on its own without any foreign investments. A budget for the new single-engine stealth fighter has been laid out completely, and it will absolutely not depend on foreign customers. The Russian deputy prime minister had said recently that Russia's United Aircraft Corporation has started assembling the first prototype of the new Su-75 that will conduct its first flight in 2023, and this prototype will lead to the first foreign order, but he did not reveal the name of the launch customer. Apart from the Army's 100 crore rupees contract for more than 100 Sky Striker loitering munitions, the private sector company Alpha Design Technologies Private Limited has now procured two more defense contracts from the Indian Air Force. The first contract is for six very high frequency counter stealth radar systems worth 200 crore rupees, as it was the lowest bidder among all the four participating firms that met the user requirements. It has a range of more than 250 kilometers and will be truck mounted for mobile deployment. The second contract is for 60 identification of friend or foe systems worth 80 crore rupees, in which the Alpha Design Technologies again emerged as the lowest bidder. The Indian Army has awarded a $15 million contract to the startup company New Space Research and Technologies to supply 100 swarm drone units under emergency procurement, which can carry 10 kg warhead and carry out strikes against targets at distances up to 25 km. The Army intends to use the 100 New Space drones to develop swarming concept of operations, as well as explore technologies like manned-unmanned teaming, that will be followed by a much larger capital acquisition of similar swarm drone units, that will feature artificial intelligence-powered algorithms, to mimic biological behavior of animals and birds to saturate an area. The Army will now tailor the cooperative behavior of drones in different settings, especially from the high altitudes of Ladakh sector. Another startup company Rafi Fiber Private Limited has also been awarded a contract for swarm drones, that will be used as a load-carrying unmanned aerial vehicle to supply essentials to troops at difficult locations. The Indian Air Force will dispatch six Su-30 fighter jets to Japan for the first joint combat exercise between the two air forces. Analysts have suggested that Japan was keen for the Russian-built Su-30 fighter jets to take part in the exercise, as Japanese fighter jets will have to face the Su-30 MKK variant flown by the Chinese Air Force over the East China Sea, and the Japanese pilots aim to get a better understanding of the aircraft during the upcoming dissimilar air combat exercises. It is expected that Russia will insist in it to not use all the avionics capabilities of the Su-30, so that some of its electronics and radar capabilities could be kept secret. After the intelligence agencies had flagged serious concerns on possible threat of data loss through surveillance cameras of Chinese origin installed at various military establishments across the country, the Indian Navy headquarters has asked all its bases and units to remove the CCTV surveillance systems of the Chinese firm Hikvision, and also to stop any further procurement from the company. The Chinese firm is also one of the CCTV vendors for Bharat Electronics, that works on highly sensitive and classified defense projects. It has emerged that the data loss can occur even if the cameras are not connected to the Internet. The Hansa new generation aircraft designed and developed by the National Aerospace Laboratories has successfully made its maiden flight from Hal Airport. The aircraft flew at an altitude of 4,000 feet and gained a speed of 80 knots before it made a successful landing after about 20 minutes. The aircraft will be certified within the next four months, that will be followed by induction into service. 
At a time when India is all set to receive the first unit of S-400 system, the director of the Moscow-based Center for Analysis of Strategies and Technologies Rushlin Pukov has said that the US imposed sanctions on countries which were weak and less important for them. He also said that there was a split in the US foreign policy community on imposing sanctions on Turkey, and India is far more important to the US than Turkey, and the US will not risk its relations with India by imposing the Katsa sanctions. The lenders of Reliance Naval and Engineering Limited are staring at a haircut of around 95%, as all the three bidders have submitted very low bids for procuring the company. The total debt of Reliance Naval and Engineering Limited is 12,000 crore rupees, but the Veritas Group has bid 730 crores, the Jindal Group has submitted a bid of around 340 crores, while the Turkish firm Besiktas Shipyard has offered an upfront cash of 50 crore rupees. Therefore, the highest bid of 730 crores by Veritas Group will ensure only 6% recovery for the lenders.